wing roots are cleaned up. I've put on the side resin scoops from the quick boost set. These, I'm confident I can get through the bill without bumping off. I've put CA glue in that hole for the kit part for that antenna. The resin one is narrow and it would show, so I have to sand that back again. Yeah, that's the second dab of CA glue. I've gone back to the uh, instrument panel combing section. So you've got photo etch parts for the frame that holds the uh, gun sight, the heads up display glass. The centerpiece, which is photo etch 3, had to be folded. Um, hands up who have trouble with photo etch, that's me, I'll be the first to admit it. This picture here doesn't really give me enough information on how I'm supposed to go. I folded up how I thought, but when it came to sitting it, you got slots that the photo it sits in, it was too wide and I couldn't work out a better way to fold it. Um, and then you got the outer pieces which are the frame which like have rivet heads in it. So what I did was I cut the bottom piece of the frame off the, the photo it three piece and you can see this is how wide it was with that frame and I couldn't work out a better way to fold it that would have fit in the slots where it's sitting now I just, I don't know, I couldn't fathom how it was going to fit so I bit the bullet, cut that off and now I'll be able to just, this will just fit it'll sit on there so that works and yeah it's incorrect but like I said I couldn't work out how to better fold it that it will fit in that slot. Uh, a more significant problem is the fit of the windscreen. If you can see you got the fuselage is wider than the windscreen and quite a lot you're looking at probably a millimeter either side of it you can probably flex a bit the windscreen out to try and get it pull the sides out but you'd have to glue it bit by bit what I'm going to do is take that clear part away scrape the plastic back and then sand it, smooth it, and just go bit by bit until it fits flush. Uh, yeah, that's not real good. So this is how I'm going to tackle this particular issue. What I did was I sat the windscreen on and I've lined it up so that the framework lines up with this so that's central and then uh, the pencil and I've run it along the frame either side and it's left you can see a, the graphite's left a mark where I need to go now <coughs> it's curved surface I'm going to use this and just scrape along so you're getting the curve as well. You can't just come along and just just send top because then you'll see your fuselage dip in. You got to take a larger area with it so it it's all uh, smoothly transitioned and it's all part of the. Uh, fuselage so you've got no steps so and then I'll use 
sponge and I'll sand back the area. Obviously, <coughs> you're making a mess along the way. Just blow that out. We'll get your airbrush and spray it in there, get it out. Um, <coughs> like I said, you could probably spread that a bit, but I don't want to force it and crack it. That's gonna that would create a bigger problem. So just started working both sides a bit, so you can see it's it's getting there. So when I did the scraping, I go go so far with that, and you can see it's getting a bit rough. A uh, rough sanding sponge. And I'm just working the whole area and you need to go past where the windscreen sits which is to there as well otherwise again you'll have another step in the plastic so you just got to keep working that area just keep seeing it back and keep checking don't don't just get carried away and not Keep checking, otherwise you'll go too far, and then you'll <laughs> then you'll have to be seeing in clear parts. All right, that's just about there. I just need to polish the plastic as well. So I started with that heavy grit sponge and just went down and to finer ones. And also, I'll need to clean up this, the join in the cockpit there, uh, the fuselage halves, because that, I didn't do it earlier because I wasn't sure, but you can still, when the canopy's on you, you'll still be able to see in there because the instrument panel sits back there. So I need to clean that up because, yeah, you'll see in there when you look in the windscreen. Okay, so I've cleaned up the uh, windscreen area, painted it in, put the HUD in, the glass or the clear part. I just need to glue that on now after I mask up the uh, clear part. I'll glue that in with crystal clear for that one. Uh, I've put the wingtip lights on, drilled the hole and put the colour in the hole with the toothpick, uh, the red and the green. Uh, stabilizers, rear stabilizers are glued on. I put the clear light on the back there. It's, uh, just having a look at the, so I get the photo etch for the interior of the speed brakes so there's three pieces of photo etch there they got the uh, up down there they got the main piece and then two smaller pieces go on and when it sits in like so, it'll sit on the frame but before I glue that on, I'm going to spray inside because it, uh, it'll make it a bit harder if you glue the photo which I want to get in there for the depth. So just I'll spray, I'll spray it. Uh, they're white on the inside. And I'll, I'll spray the white, then I'll glue that on, and then I'll spray it again. So what I couldn't get to will be sprayed. Um, yeah, so I've also glued on the control surfaces for the wing, except for the underside one, which will glue on uh, afterwards. Uh, slats, I still need to clean up the bits I glued on and cut, and I've cut that one how I said I'm going to cut it shorter, I've cut that one so I have to cut the other side to match. So, making progress, but I'm just about finished for the day because 
yet again we are experiencing heat wave conditions and I can't handle the temperature in here much longer.